Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a very cool car, very rare. Uh, you don't see these around. It's a 1966 uh, satellite with a 426 Hemi in it. Got uh, Gene here many, many years. Gonna tell us a little bit about it. How are we doing today, Gene? Very good. Man, what a car. Yeah, it's a nice car. Very special. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it's a 1966 mm. satellite. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was 67, it would be called a GTX. 426 Hemi, four speed, 833 transmission, uh, eight and three quarter rear, 391 on our short track. Uh, I got the altercation uh, front suspension kit, uh, which uh, replaces the subframe. Uh, it has coil over shocks. Rack and pinion up front, right? Uh, rack and pinion power, uh, Flaming River. Yeah. Uh, 426 Hemi uh, doesn't need much description. Uh, it's a crate Hemi. It was 465 horsepower to start with. Okay. Uh, we got a crane cam in there. We got a, a, a quick flow carburetor. We got some aluminum valve covers. A few goodies in it. What uh, size is the carb? 750 probably? 750. I toned it down. It was 850 and I wanted to slow it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, TTI headers, uh, full two and a half inch exhaust. Leading Flowmasters, I guess? Uh, no, no, they're actually quiet turbo flow muffins. Oh, okay. Uh, I wanted to calm it down. Uh, it's had the frames tied together. Very nice job. Um, that's about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot, very original. It uh, is. Looks not, like one quality repaint, right? Yes, and it was done way before I got it. And I don't know what year it was done. Hmm. I've probably had it four or five years. You know what the color is called? I don't. Um, I think it's some kind of bronze, but I'm not sure. Yeah, um, it's nice. You know, it's very classy in this color, other than to see a silver or red or, you know? Right. Looks... This is also a 67 GTX gas uh, filler. I have the original one, but they're very plain looking. Yeah. This dresses it a little bit. Okay. And inside, we got a very original interior. Buckets, console, four-speed, and a gauges. Is this how they came with a deluxe style interior? Yes. Hmm. Looks like original door panels, armrests, cranks, knobs. <clears throat> Different steering wheel. Looks great. Love the three spoke. Showing 101,180 miles. Nice clear gauges. Added uh, Sun Super Tack. It almost looks like a vintage style tack. Then we got water and oil down there. AM FM radio. So it's a regular AM radio and then it jumps over to this audio box FM, which works great. Four speed manual, line lock too, huh Gene? Yes. Very nice. Beautiful headliner. Nice package tray. Love the satellite right there. So cool. Seatbelts. So let's uh, check out under the hood, G. Sure. There she is, huh? 426 Hemi. It's pretty fresh, too. How many miles are you thinking are on the motor? Uh, if it had 4,000, it would be a lot. I think probably 2,500 would be closer. Mm -hmm. mm. This looks like the original paint right here. Absolutely. There's your paint inspection tag on it from mm -hmm. the factory. What's your up with sort of tag is, uh, VIN tag is over here. Protecto plate. I mean, um, 
What is this called again? A little Verticard goes there. I like the battery cutoff switch right here. It's pretty cool. Man, like no miles on this rack and pinion, huh? No, I don't think there's 500. Wow, cool. All right, let's fire it up. Love to hear it. Oh, geek. I got him. Beautiful.